Welcome back to African Born Adventures. On this episode, we are bow hunting impala and warthogs. But we run into some problems with daytime porcupines, warthogs that won't stand still, and running out of arrows. How many more arrows do you have in the trunk? I can't even tell you how special this is to me. There's no words for it. The dictionary was written by people who weren't hunters. So they never came up with a word that describes this feeling. Practicing, tuning a bow, getting everything right, perfect so you can hunt ethically. And then you take a beautiful animal's life then in turn, which is your own, what word describes that? Blessings from above, bud. That's what it is. So you get some water and wash your knife off and stuff and we can go look for a warty. I wonder what the boys have got stuck into. Aiden and Corbin, they hunting as well with us. Just on the other side of the hill here. Unfortunately, those pigs gave AD the slip, but he nearly had a very painful step when he got a little bit too close to the sleeping porcupine.
After a successful morning, we found a shady spot under the trees to swap stories and get some food in the body. We said hello to Thunder, who was itching to chase something after not being needed in the morning. Thunder is a German hunting terrier and is fast turning into a legendary hunting dog. After some rest and a few jokes, we were ready for the afternoon hunt. Hunting boys. Practicing my imitation. <laughs> Sit. Lad. Lada. Sit down. It wasn't long after lunch and we got stuck into what can only be described as Warthog Paradise. As we started stalking one pig, we spotted another, and another, and another. It created quite a bit of confusion, leading me to the point where I embarrassingly ten ringed the stock fence. One on the left, right next to the fence. See them? Try to only go for. That's why this one's closer. That'll be a big He walked straight to us to get to about 20. We threw the fence and walked away. Nice, nice angle. Because I'd ranged another pig already. I guessed it was about 35. Aimed at its head and it walked into the arrow. Sounded good. It did sound good. How many more arrows you got in the truck? Dog, Thunder, good dog. Good dog, Thunder, good dog. Good dog. Oh. Thunder.
Thanks for watching. If you missed our previous bow hunt where we take down some war togs, check that out in the link below, as that game farm is one of the best in South Africa to bow hunt. Until next time, cheers. You ready? We do. <laughs>in the bush huh what you doing in the bush connecting arrows geez like is this, is this an arrow tree or what yeah it grows eastern 6.5s already fletched yeah go on with the broadhead good tree this and ah uh... oh this thing's still recording